Hello, welcome back to the Spider's Web. And we have your man here, ready for painting. As you can see, he's all nice and dark. And we're not going to brighten him up too much, except obviously for the green on the bony bits. But before that, <coughs> these. I did do like a bit of a tutorial of how I painted them um, and unfortunately I got a little bit carried away last night when I started doing a bit more and ended up finishing them all. But I'll talk you through what I've done. Okay so we started off they were primed grey, pale grey. Um, I just want to take all of these lids off first of all because they've all been um, washed and I don't want them sticking because I've not long since washed them. Okay, so there we are. <coughs> right, so what I've done. Firstly, they're all primed grey. Secondly, what I've done is I've painted all the inside of this raised area black. I then dry brushed over the icon in white and then dry brushed again with yellow. It needs another coat, but as far as I'm concerned, it's, uh, it's okay at the moment. Next, what I did using Nurgling Green is I painted the lid and I painted the crates. Um, right, so with the Nurgling Green I did the top and bottom of the crates and left the middle unpainted. When I said the bottom I mean the bottom as well. Um, once it had dried I washed it with um, Agrax Earthshade as is my normal and then I used other paints to do the middle so I did um, there's eight case, eight crates so I did two in the purple, two in the red, two in the blue and two in the green so I just realised um, I've got a camera slightly um, so once they were oops what I'm going to say, once I've not done anything more with them all I've done is just as I say, painted the uh, Nurgling Green top and bottom, washed it and then painted over in the colours for the middle. So that is basically it. That's all we've done so far with them. That's all I think I'm going to do with them. You don't really need much more. The important bit, your man here. Okay, so what is it we're needing? Laz Dacker Red. So we need, oops, roan brush, we need some of the Wazdaka, and we need some of the white scar, and we're going to do as the usual routine, we're going to do the usual routine with these, and mix it so that it's a nice pinky colour but we don't want it to be a very bright pink we want it to be just a little bit paler because we aren't going as bright with this fella as we have done with the others because the way I see it this being the stage three it was one of the original um, mutations okay so it's been so the plague that is mutating people into this uh, has hit him first. He's had to. He's gone the longest with it. So that means that obviously more affected. But the fleshy areas have been exposed to external conditions a lot longer. So 
I don't think they will be as bright and as vivid as they would be on the stage one. So we're just going to go over and we're not going to do an ultra highlight. This is all it's going to be. Seriously, this is all it's going to be. After this, there's going to be a wash of the Carolberg Crimson. As I say, I want it much darker than um, the others. And then I may do a slightly paler highlight over the top of that. Um, we're going to be doing fingernails and toenails and teeth and everything else a little later after we do the Carolberg wash but for now all we're doing is just adding this and we're doing this as it was um, as we did the rather um, the darker version variants of the pink on the other ones but as I said we aren't going to be doing and the highlighting stage here we're going to wait until after the um, the wash has been performed or applied rather and then we'll do the um, the highlight wash or the highlight coats rather so with that I shall shut up and paint and let you see how it builds up Okay, so this looks as though I'm getting very near the end of the dry brushing for this stage. Um, so as I said, um, I'm going to have to go over with some of the uh, Caliban green in a couple of parts where I've gone over with the pink, but that's no big deal. Um, it's not going to affect anything as it stands. Um, all you have to do is find the Caliban green, it's just here. Okay. So, just this area, that area, um, I think that is all to be honest, just that little bit, that's it, no, just a touch of the, and there. Okay, so that's all there is for the Caliban Green. I'm not going to mix any more pink now because, as I say, I want to do the wash first. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring out the scorpion green and I'm going to give the bony areas a dry brushing. Okay, so we're going down to the end of it now, uh, the last bit, and um, if the purse look a little bright, then 
it'll be fine. Uh, we're going to have a, a bright yellow highlights on this and then there's going to be a null oil wash over the top so that's going to dull it down quite a bit so I'm not worried about it looking a bit too bright okay so that's the green there he is and as I said we're going to have yellow dry brush over it so I am actually going to change brushes now because this is only for certain areas and uh, I may as well use a, a bigger brush for this. Um, like I say, it's just areas where the light is going to hit. is really it for this step we can't really do the finer details like the teeth and the um, teeth the fingernails and the toenails because <coughs> there's going to be as I said a wash over the top um, so what I'm going to do now is while the greens um, dry it I'm going to take the Carolberg Crimson, give it a shake, and we can start applying this to the flush areas. I like said that hopefully will be, we'll make it a little bit darker than the. Um, Grucho violets. But we'll soon see how it looks when this dries. And as I say, once we put this on, we can't really do anything else until um, after it's dried. So I'm going to leave the video open. I'm not going to close off yet and I'm going to see I'm going to work with it that way rather than um, closing the video and then having to do another video to finish off ok so let's I'm just going to Okay, so that's it really for the uh, crimson wash. Um, let's go a little bit more over the hand here. Um, there's not really much else I can do with it, so as I said, I'm going to have to leave it here and then when it's dry, I can continue then with the highlight for the fleshy areas and then I'll give the green parts a wash and then. I can do the highlight for the fresh areas on the final details and then I can give the green bits a wash before I start applying the base texture. Right, so I'm back and what I'm going to do now is the fine details. Okay, so what we need to do is find a darkish, not a really dark, but a dark-ish brown. And we're going to use Scrag Brown for this. Okay. 
and fine brush we're just going to go over teeth there you may not be able to tell but there are teeth there as well we're going to go over fingernails, toenails with this and on this figure we can actually see them which means we do as good a job as we can of painting them These are more like them in claws than fingernails. As you can probably tell. We just need to go over the top and the bottom of those. And next, we'll do the toenails. on both sides there we are, just go over the fingernail again claw, whatever you want to call it that one's broken I could, I could do them like me, I probably could do the manicure <laughs> Okay, so that's that bit done. Okay, so now what we need to do is with Screaming Skull We we'll just touch the edge of the teeth the just put a quick bit of a line on the leaf some of the the other brown showing. Don't be too fastidious with it. Just a quick um, just quick run over. That's all it takes. That won't do for that. There we go. And finally, what we're going to be doing is the slightly paler pink. Slightly paler. Not a great deal paler. Let's want some red. We want some white. So I want to make this slightly pale on the previous one, but we're not going overboard. It's about the same shade, so a little bit more white. A 
bit too close. Oops. Just put a dollop on that. I think really what we're looking at is the white that we had for the dark for the for the um, darker section or the darker highlights from the other two layers. Other two layers we're talking about. When we was doing the other models, and um, the darker of the pink, that's the one we want to go for here. And it's just a quick Waft over where the light's going to hit. That is all. I really should have done the teeth before I did this. I just had, I just forgot I'd not done it. Okay, so that's all we need to do for this section. Why do I keep saying section for this uh, for this highlighter? We are not doing a great amount of. Um, Highlighting for this, I just say I want it quite, want this character quite a bit darker than the uh, other ones we've done. There's nothing much there but just a quick tickle and same there and that is all we're doing for this fella. Okay, so now it's null oil wash all over the uh, bony parts. And if we get any on the um, on the flush areas, don't worry about it. It's not vitally important. Thing, just making sure it's all all covered. I think we've got everything there now. So that is that. All that remains now is the base to be done and the plague are finished. So on the next video I shall be making a start on the um, enforcers. The enforcers I'm only going to do three possibly four of them um, I plan on doing obviously the big captain um, the sniper this fella and the uh, engineer chappy um, I haven't worked out what colors to use yet I'm thinking blue yellow that kind of thing so we'll see so until next time as always, I'll bring this down so you can see. Well, you can see the top of his head anyway. I'll bring the turret on in as well. But I just need to finish his base. <coughs> and then we're all finished. So, as I said, well, we've got to bring the turret on in, wasn't I? Okay, so there we go. 
that's the end of our um, plague mutant painting tutorial. -y. I'm gonna just notice that I've not got complete coverage with the null oil. There is an area there that needs doing. Okay, that's that's done. Okay, so that is now finished for the painting videos anyway. So until next time, as always, take care, God bless, and bye for now.